Um, Jim Connor here with Game Changer Silicon Valley. We are at the RSA conference today in San Francisco. It's an extremely large conference. Uh, I think it's four buildings here and all the exhibit halls are open. I'm with Matthew Stevenson, or Matt Stevenson, I should say, of Silence. Yes. Right? So let's give you an opportunity to tell us a little bit about, about what Silence does. Well, we are a pure artificial intelligence-based antivirus solution, and we were born AI. So that's one of the hot topics this week is machine learning, artificial intelligence. You see it everywhere, but we've never been anything else. It, the original idea was to come in and remove humans from the decision-making process. What is a malicious file? What's a good file? Uh, just because people, they can't think fast enough, they can't think big enough to sort through the amount of malicious files that are coming out there. And uh, so we've created something that is truly a next-generation antivirus solution, uh, with the end goal being, you know, the the cliche is protect every machine under the sun, but the idea is we can put these bad guys out of business so we can move on to the next thing with security. So the basic concept is you run at the uh, desktop or the, at the client level, Correct. and um, you detect a bad file a few milliseconds before it's going to get executed, correct? Well, and it's beyond just detection. What we're looking to do is look inside the file, really at the DNA of the file itself, and predict what its activities are going to be. If it's going to be a malicious file, uh, we'll make that in about 70 milliseconds. You get the notification, depending on what your settings are, what to do with it. But the idea is these files will never execute, so there never has to be a sacrificial lamb for us to learn what a file similarly is going to do. So the footprint is quite light, you indicated, and that's a key issue because some uh, antivirus software just consumes the machine as it goes through cycles. Is that across the board for uh, Mac and Windows, and is there some minimum configuration a client needs to be? Yeah, for us, uh, the file size is 42 meg. So yes, the answer to all questions in the universe is 42. Uh, but we sit very quietly. We're not running constant scans. And it's only when someone goes to execute a file, we'll escalate through the privileges, make the decision on what's happening with that file. And then we'll go back and lay low until the next time we're called to action. So I have to ask, has the intensity and the uh, quantity as well as quality taken a tremendous jump in the last one to two years? Oh, it's definitely, even a, uh, according to Verizon with their report, it's been arcing up ridiculously the last years and it's combining malware attacks with social engineering. So that's why I think it's important that all of the work that the bad guys are doing to make the files look different, you've got to have a way to recognize what's happening regardless. And that's why you know, it sounds like a marketing cliche to say that we look at the DNA, but you can't change the programming. You can do a lot of things to hide it, but in the end, there's got to be the bits in there that are telling it to do these things. And that's why we say that, that we can predict what's going to happen rather than react to something that's already happened. I sort of wondered, um, you know, there's uh, issues of st state-sponsored uh, malware and so on like yeah. that. Can you detect really where it's coming from or can you guess at where it's coming from? Well, it's an interesting question because in the end, is attribution really that important? Because if you're looking for attribution, then that means you're also kind of looking for revenge. And I get it. Everybody likes that, that good moment. But uh, the biggest thing that we're concerned about is protecting the end users first. Uh, yes, there's data collection that we can do after that to, to trace where it came from. But for us, first and foremost, we are looking to prevent any of the bad guys, regardless of where they're from, from doing the things they want to do. Great. Well, Matt, let's give our audience a chance to know how to contact you, your website, your email, whatever you'd like to uh, convey. All the good stuff is at www.silence.com and then also on Twitter, at Silence Inc. Um, and that's where everything you need to find out about us, we're putting it out there. Matt, thank you so much for your time. Absolutely. I appreciate it. I wish you every success going forward. All right. Have a good show. Thank you.